Hey everyone, welcome to my long awaited nail studio tour at this location. <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while, then this will be your third nail studio tour that you are seeing from me. It seems to be a tradition that whenever I move nail studios, I finally film my nail studio tour for you guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a little bit of rambling and chatting here and just kind of updating you guys on what's going on. So if you don't wanna see that and you're just here for the nail studio tour, I'll leave like a little timestamp here as to where you can go to watch the actual nail studio tour. But just a little background story here. Me and my husband recently bought a new house. In the new house that we bought, the basement was not finished, so we got to finish the basement, which means I got to design my new nail studio exactly how I wanted it. So I cannot wait to show you guys what I'm gonna do with that space. Also, a couple little housekeeping things. This is not the way that I wanted my nail studio to be 100% finished. That is why it took me so long to film this video is I had so many plans and so many things that I wanted to do in this space and I just never got around to doing it or life got in the way or I had too many other priorities to get done and it just didn't happen. So in this nail studio space, there is a lot of systems that are not working for me. So I will show you guys what I have, but I will also give you an idea of what I plan to do in the new space or I will give you some ideas of how I think it might function better when I do move, I hope to do some pack with me videos. So as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm actually going to start packing. I will definitely 100% film some like setting up the nail studio space videos for you guys. Um, I've taken some time off of work in between the move and my husband is here to help me. So I'm really hoping that I can film those videos for you. I had full intentions of doing it when I initially moved from my last space home and with being pregnant and trying to get set up in like two days, it just didn't work. So I'm hoping to be able to film that those videos for you guys as well. And like I said, follow my vlog channel if you want to keep up with the moving progress. Okay, let's jump in, let's waste no more time. I'm just going to give you guys a panoramic view of my room so you can get an idea of how big it is um, and the different kind of locations that I have in here. So over here we have where I do my client's nails, we have my desk which is actually where I film now because I used to film over at that desk over there, which you guys might have seen in previous videos. However, now that I have my giant computer there, that is like solely my editing station. I also have back here a little like cutaway clip station, which I will 100% be setting up in my new space because I love how that functions. I have giant windows down here. It is a basement. I've got a display cabinet over here. And the last thing that we finish up with over here is just a hook for my clients and for my aprons and stuff. So that is the panoramic view when you guys first enter my nail studio. I'm going to be in right over here. Immediately to the left of my door, and this is like behind my nail desk here, I have my filming cart, which you guys would have seen in a separate video. I'll be sure to link it. When I used to film at my other location, at the little desk there, that little trolley thing worked perfect for sitting beside me and allowing me to use it while I was filming. I don't use it now that I film at my nail desk, but in the new location, I 100% will have a place for it. And it is nice to have right there if I'm like running out of different things, or I can just wheel it up beside me and then I don't have to go digging around for swatch sticks and stuff. So I, I still use it, but this is just kind of its home right now there. <laughs> These two drawer units are from Ikea. I will look up the name and put it on here. And what I store in here is my nail background props, which I actually don't even really use anymore. But I do, again, have a separate video on what's inside this one unit anyway. But like I said, I hardly reach for these anymore. I'm just kind of finding that my style for taking nail pictures is changing and is a lot more simplistic. I like using the background prop over here, this marble background and the white wood grain backgrounds. Like I like using lighter backgrounds and I don't like having so much stuff in my nail pictures anymore. I'm not ready to get rid of these in case my style goes back to using background props. I definitely want to keep that drawer. And then this drawer is empty and I plan to organize all my fabrics into those drawers when we move into my new studio place. My fabrics are actually all packed up because I haven't been using them lately. So that's why there's a second set of drawers there, but currently there's nothing in it. I just keep my clear jelly stamp or plate holders on top of the white stand there. I just like to have them easily accessible because I use clear jelly stamper so much. This little organizer here for papers is a scrapbook paper organizer that I got from Michaels. It's actually housing like our modem and our cable box. I don't really know what's all in there. And then I also have some of my background scrapbook papers in some of the other compartments there. It works really well for this purpose. I hope to not need it in the new space because I, I won't, won't even have to worry about that in the new space. It just looks really cluttered and messy in this particular space. Then as we move up from there is where I keep all of my nail art. 
this little nook that was here was here when we moved in I remember when my husband and I first discussed moving my nail business home I was looking at this space and I was like I 100% know exactly what to do with that space it's going to be my nail art nook I'm so excited with how it turned out I am very sad to be leaving this nail art nook because I will not have a nail art nook in my new location nothing like this anyway which is why I'm struggling to come up with different ideas for my new space is because this just worked out so perfect there's tons of different ways you can organize it tons of different ways you could utilize a little nook like this my mind is going completely blank on what to do in my new nail space and if you go watch my vlogs there is kind of a sneak peek of what it looks like but you can't really get the full effect in those videos okay back to my nail art nook I always get tons of questions where these polished polish racks are from I get my polish racks from Alberta Beauty Systems they are the least expensive place that I have found to get them. You can also get them on Amazon, eBay. A lot of nail suppliers carry them. They're all over the place in all honesty, but that is just the where, where I found them to be the least expensive. One thing I wanna note though is all of these polish racks, they may look the same, but they're not. They are 100% not the same. I have the two large ones up here, which I think these are 90 polish racks. I, I honestly, you guys, I'm not 100% sure. But each one of them, like these two are the same. These ones that are down here are the same, but the ones that are down here are not the same as the ones on the side. And the reason that I say that is because the ones on the side are better quality and they hold the Jelly Fit Gel polishes, which these ones over here do not hold them very well. These ones, the Jelly Fit Gel polishes are too tall for these ones. And same with the ones on the side. Uh, these ones hold the Orly Instant Artists, but those ones don't. So I don't even know like what to tell you guys when you're looking for polish racks. If you can go in somewhere and actually look at them, it's beneficial because they are all different. You can actually put your polish bottles in and see what holds because a lot of the polish bottles are different sizes and different heights. And if you want an overview of my nail art collection, I do have a video up when I moved home last year. It's about a year and a half old, so a lot of this stuff has changed since then. But it'll give you a general idea of like how I store things and kind of my collection. It has grown substantially since then. So whenever I get it all nice and organized in the new space, I will do a nail art collection video again if you guys want to see it. Just comment below and let me know. Okay, so over in this corner, I have to get ventilation in my nail studio in order to get a business license in my city. So that is what that fan is up top. I have some canvas pictures of some nails that I've done, some of my favorite ones. Those ones are so old though. I did those nails like years ago, it's not even funny. Oh, and I should also mention, my wallpaper is from a local paint shop. I can't even tell you guys the brand or what it is because they don't even carry it anymore. I apologize, but definitely check out your local paint shops to see what sort of wallpaper they have. Okay, so right underneath my canvas, I have my Jelly Fit Gel polishes. The reason I have them there is because when I film, I sit right here, and so they're in the background. And I think out of all the gel polishes and nail art that I have, my Jelly Fit Gel polishes are the prettiest. So I like to keep them as in the background whenever I'm filming. Up top on those polish racks, uh, this is just like my random polish rack. It's just like a whole bunch of extras. Again, I was fully planning on reorganizing everything in this space, but now that we're moving, there's literally no point. So that's just kind of my collect all, my random type of products where I don't have too many of each of the brands. Immediately beside it is the start of my Ugly Duckling gel polishes. And then on the side here is where the rest of them were going to grow to. I have some that I need to still film a video on and then they would fit in there. But again, I'm packing up as soon as I'm done filming this video. The polish racks down here hold my Lachette gel polishes. My clear jelly stamper collection is all right beside each other. A lot of the larger polish bottles as well as some of the smaller ones that small polish rack is from clear jelly stamper as well and I'm not gonna go too much into the rest of the nail art here but I do keep my Canada nail supplies glitters my glitter having glitters my Sally Hansen inch to dry polishes my light elegance pigments and then on the side here is my Orly instant artists and my and my models own stamping polishes the nice thing about these Alex drawer units where I keep my nail art is that they act as like a desktop if you stack them this way right beside each other so I do have a whole bunch of different brushes. The brush holders are from Canada Nail Supplies. And then immediately to the right is a bunch of my pump bottles. And these hold like my stamping plate cleaner, my post service wipe, my acetone, things that I don't reach for quite as often. And then that tray, that silver tray, I wanna say is from like HomeSense or something. I'm not entirely sure. 
And then all of my nail art is kept in these Alex drawer units. I have two here and then I did move another one immediately beside it here as well. So I have three, but I do have enough products to fill four of them. So there is one over there that is actually going to be coming into my new nail studio space so that I can better organize things. And again, if you want to see what's inside these, check out that nail collection video. It has changed obviously because this drawer wasn't in it, but you'll get a general idea of how I organize things. Back here is a scrapbook that I'm going to be putting my background scrapbook papers into when I move into the new space as well as my nail deco binder. On top of this Alex drawer unit, I just keep a standing polish rack, which I honestly don't use very much. I, I don't like a lot of things to be out. I don't mind it in my nail art nook, but in all honesty, you guys, I would be okay in closing a lot of things up because I'm thinking that it's just starting to look really cluttered and it's stressing me out when I'm working. I get too overwhelmed with everything being out. So I don't really use this polish rack. I'm hoping to get some better nail art storage or display units and maybe I'll better utilize that. That's why I haven't gotten rid of that rack yet. But as you can see, I don't store too much in it. I do keep tape here because I use tape for a lot of different nail art designs. I used to, I haven't used tape in quite a while, but there are a lot of different things that you can use tape for. Then this spinny mirrored turntable, my mom got for me from Avon. I haven't seen it since. If I had, I would 100% get a few more of them because I absolutely love it. And on here, I just keep my lotions, my LCN Super Shine Finish Cleaner, my dust brushes, which I store in just a vase that I honestly probably got from the dollar store, I'm not even sure and some more of those pump bottles with some of my Sammy prep, 99% alcohol, and my nail polish remover, which I use all the time. I also keep one of these dust blower things on here because I do use it quite a bit. So immediately to the right of that Alex drawer unit, I do have my nail desk. And I have a completely separate video explaining all about my nail desk. It's quite old, I go into a tour in it. Some of the drawers are the same, some of them have changed. When I move, I, will, I do plan to film a new updated video on that. This desk is custom made. I had the top made from a local counter store and then the drawer units are Alex drawer units and I do have my, my paper towel rack just kind of screwed into the side there because I use that all the time. So I'm not gonna go into too much what's going on in the desk but I will give you guys the idea of how I utilize this desk on top which again will be changing 100% in the new nail space because I do not like how it functions. I seriously dislike having all of this stuff out. Like it stresses me out when I'm working on my client's nails and I'm finding it really hard to focus and concentrate because you guys know if you use a lot of different nail art things for one design, like this desk, as, long, as much as it's big, it's like covered in nail art. So it drives me bonkers. I plan to utilize different systems in my new space that will hopefully help me function better when I'm working on my clients. So a lot of this will not be staying the same. So right over here, I just keep a little pad of paper with a bunch of the nail art products that I'm loving lately. And then when I have enough of them, I sit down and film a nail favorites video. I used to do this monthly when I worked full time. I just don't have the time to do that now. And I don't love products as much monthly because I don't work as much. So whenever this paper gets full is when I film a nail favorites video. A lot of these products were in my winter nail favorites video and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that video before we move. Right to the left of it, I keep this kind of silicone storage thing, which I again got from Avon. Avon has some really cool like little trinkety things that I utilize a lot in my nail studio as you guys can see. And in here, I just keep a bunch of my tweezers, my gel stirs, my little scoops, my scissors, my magnets. I keep a whole bunch of those little small things that I have no idea where else to put. But like I said, I don't want any of this stuff out on my new nail desk. <laughs> right beside that, I keep this spinny organizer, which I just got from a local liquidation place. And it is not the best quality, you guys. I've heard that you can get these from Bed Bath & Beyond as well, which might be a better option because I think they might be better quality from there. This one is super inexpensive and super cheap. But on here, I just keep my cuticle oils, my black and white stamping polish that I use all the time, and a whole bunch of different products that I use all the time, such as my no wipe top coats, my crystal glues, my Orly gel effects. I do keep my Conad black and white, though I don't like ever reach for those anymore. I also keep some brushes that I use for brushing off nail dust or pigments. I keep some of my old stampers on here that I don't reach for anymore. There's a lot of stuff I need to go through here. I also do keep some pens and pencils as well as my crystal pusher in that location. So this is kind of new, but lately I've been keeping this notebook here that I write down different video ideas. I also write down my nail shopping list. I write down if my clients have a nail design that's a little bit complicated, I use this book to design it. 
Um, this book I just got from Chapters as well as the little pouch I got from Michaels where I keep my pens. That way, if I need to bring this all over the house, if I have different nail ideas come to me when I'm upstairs, I can quickly run downstairs, grab this book, take it with me. I love these books. If you guys follow my vlog channel, you hear me talk about them all the time. This is also new for my nail desk. Um, I got this little white unit from Walmart in the bathroom section. It is super inexpensive, super like not good quality. It's just plastic and cheap. I use this for all of my like office utensils. So I have a whole bunch of pens. Um, I have like a knife opener. I have some lip gloss, things that I would use. Such office supplies as that. The next drawer I keep my lip glosses as well as like a scraper for scraping gel off of my desk, my eyeglass cleaner, lint roller, measuring tape. And the last drawer I just keep change for if my clients need change with their services. But again, that's just taking up way too much space for working, but it functions for me right now. <laughs> this clock is just a clock that I got from Amazon that I used to actually use in Rose's room, but it doesn't light up very nicely. So I ended up moving it down here and I actually love having a digital clock on my nail desk just to keep me on track with my services. This cosmetic storage unit I just got from Walmart and I love it. It's got three different compartments, so I keep my light elegance wipes in here, I keep my cheaper wipes that I use for stamping, and then I keep my Q-tips in this one here. But I love that it's three, because I use three on a regular basis. If I could find one with four, I would get one with four though, because I do use sponges a lot more as well. And if I could find one, two square and two round would be like the ideal cosmetic organizer for my nail desk, but this thing works really well. I have a second one on my filming card, that's how much I love it. So you guys are looking at my view here. This is how I set my table up whenever my clients come. I use my Light Elegance Dual Cure, I think that's what they're called, LED UV lamps, and I love these things. I 100% meant to get a video out for you guys reviewing them, but I do love these lights. I love that they're automatic. I love the different timers that are on the back of them. I do wish there was a constant on on them though because there are times, especially when I'm swatching, that I do wish I had a constant on. Overall, I do really love these lights. I've been using them for well over a year now and I have like no complaints about them, except for the fact that I wish there was a constant on. When my clients sit down at my table, this is what it looks like. I have a pink towel, I have a Light Elegance Big Wipes, the stand that they rest their hands on is from Canada Nail Supplies and then I just put paper towel over that to keep it sanitary as well as when I'm filming it like makes it look a lot brighter so there's different purposes for that. The light that I use on top here is uh, I think it's an LED slim light. I got it from Nail Essentials and it is not the ones that I see a lot of people use that are a lot smaller. This one is the really, really long one. It is the more expensive one. It is the one, it is like my ride or die nail lamp. I love this thing. I actually was considering getting another one for my filming location, which I might do when I move, but I love, love this lamp. I had zero, I have no complaints about it. It has lasted me. I think I've had that for like five years. It was one of my very first like investment pieces in my nail studio and I'm so glad that I invested in good lighting because it makes a world of a difference. And I love how you can just like move it wherever I need it. So if my clients are in a different location, I can move it where I want it. Um, I can raise it up if I'm filming. I can lower it if I need to see really close. Like it is just a super functional, amazing light. 100% recommend that light for any of your nail services. I also love these little brush holders. These are also from Canada Nail Supplies, but I've seen a lot of other nail companies come out with these too. Um, I have one here again, I have one in my filming cart too. And what I love about these is how they rest your brushes. I absolutely love how your brushes just sit there. I can have like brushes coming out from all different angles. I can have four or five brushes going at once and they're all resting off of my table. They're not touching, they're not getting glitter all over the place and they're not getting dust or anything in it. I love this brush holder. I have a ton of other brush holders that I have tried, that I've gone through. I don't even use these ones anymore, you guys. I just love these little ones. I think they're awesome. And then immediately to the right of that, I have my electric file, which I again have a separate video on. My file has not changed. My vacuum system has not changed. Nothing has changed about that. So I will just leave you guys to go watch that video if you want to see more about my vacuum system and my e-file. Right beside that, I do keep two brush holders and these are my most used brushes. I have a ton of Ugly Duckling, a ton of Light Elegance, a ton of silicone brushes, some LCN, some of the Selena Ryden brushes. I have a whole bunch of different brushes that I keep on my desk here. Like I said, these are the ones that I reach for the most. However, there's like way too many up here. Like I need to better organize my brushes because again, this is something that stresses me out is having so many brushes right here. I just need like a few of my staples. <laughs> and then right behind my electric file, I have this little dish that I keep all of these Arbor bands from. This thing I actually got from Michaels 
and people were commenting in the nail group saying that you could use this as a brush holder which you totally can as well which I originally bought it for that purpose but I never use it for that I use it just to hold my arbor bands now because they're easily accessible to me when I need to work that is my updated kind of mini desk tour now the chair that I sit in is just an office chair that I got from I think Staples I have had this chair for years. It is super comfy. I love that you can remove the arms from it because, and if you have office chairs, a lot of the office chairs, you can remove the arms from them, but the arms were just 100% getting in the way for me. This thing raises up and down. It has like a wide base for my larger bottom. It has a lot of support. I 100% recommend getting like a good office chair for you to sit in because I know when I work, I swivel around a lot of the times and I have to like spin myself around, go get my nail art supplies. Um, I adjust myself a whole time when I'm working too, so I would definitely recommend an office chair. It doesn't look super pretty. I'm okay with it because it functions really nicely for me. <laughs> then my clients sit in a chair there that I got from HomeSense. I love this chair because again, it has a larger bottom, so I know any of my clients are going to be comfortable in it. I would also not suggest getting a chair that has wheels for your clients because you don't want your clients moving around while they're working and if they're in a wheelie chair they 100% will. I also would like to suggest not to get a chair with arms. The very first chair that I had in my nail studio had arms and my clients would get too comfortable in it and they would lean back and they wouldn't be close enough to me. So if I can suggest anything for you guys when you're looking for a client chair, get one that's not on wheels and get one without arms. It's still comfortable for them, but it keeps their arms on the table where I need them and it keeps them from moving around too much because there's no wheels on it. Another thing that I do is I keep a clock, which has the completely wrong time. I think it actually needs a battery, but I do keep a clock directly in my line of sight so that I can keep myself on track when I'm working on clients. It does help having the clock on my desk though. I don't use this one as much but I would recommend having a clock um, you can easily look at your phone but it's nice to just kind of like quickly glance up if you need to check what time it is or how much time you have left till your next client I strategically positioned my clock there though in case you guys were wondering <laughs> and I also have this coat rack which I just got from Yisk, Jisk, whatever it is and on here I keep my aprons and I leave it all open for my clients to hang up their coats or hang up their purses I would like to do something a little bit nicer in my new new, new nail studio space because my new nails studio space will not have very much pink in it so I would I could even spray paint that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that but I don't utilize that as much as I would like and it just takes up a lot of room okay I also keep my price list right here so my clients can see it when they're getting their nails done they have no surprises when they're getting their nails done as to how much their uh, service is going to cost and I just took it down but I do keep my business license right there too which I'm required to show my clients when I'm in my nail studio space so in case you're wondering what those pictures are so let's move over here and we'll talk about what's going on in that location. This little space I'm obsessed with. I started this little space when I was filming my 12 days of Christmas because I wanted to do a whole bunch of different cutaway clips for all the different products that I was showcasing in those tutorials. And it was driving me nuts to have to set up my camera and set up my lights and set up everything just to do those cutaway clips. So I set up this little station. And you can see like what I mean by cutaway clips. So if I'm ever filming products, if I'm taking pictures of products, if anything, what I do is I put them on this little location and then I don't have my lights set up here, but I will have one of my, my box lights here and then I will have my ring light right here. And those in combination together just take like really, really nice pictures. I will be doing something like this in my new nail studio space, except I need it to be higher because I have been taking my clients pictures over here lately too and it's just way too low for them to get in the shot. So this is uncomfortable for them. I love the idea of a permanent cutaway filming space as well as like a permanent client nail taking picture space. Like that way you have the right lighting, you have everything all set up ready to go. This room also doubles as my husband's and my little office, I guess. So we do have a filing cabinet here with just like our documents and all of that. And then what I keep in this Alex drawer unit right now is actually my planner stuff. If you guys again follow my vlog channel, and have been following it for a while, you would know that I used to be like obsessed with planning. So that has a whole bunch of like washi and stickers and like all that sort of jazz in it. But I will be going through that again when we move. So for my cutaway station here, the background that you guys see is a rug that I just got from Walmart. It was in the kids decor section. And it is just held up with push pins. That's all it held that's all it's held up with. I do have a TV up here, which I sometimes use for my clients. I will turn my Apple TV on 
and while I have music playing, my old pictures will scroll, scroll through of different nail designs that I've done. Lately, I've been utilizing that a lot more for when I'm editing. I just have my YouTube videos going on and music playing and whatnot, but I honestly will not be having a TV in my new space. I just do not use it as much as I used to when I was working full time. If you guys are working full time with your clients, I do like the idea of a TV. I know some nail techs are against having a TV in their nail studio space, but it functions well for a few different reasons. I'm just gonna go on like a little tangent about my TV. Uh, my clients liked it when I would have music playing and the different nail art ideas will, would be scrolling through. This gives clients an idea of what you can do on their nails as well as it gives them an idea of like how different designs look, how different colors might look on their skin tones. You can change it for the seasons. So if it's Christmas, you can just have a whole bunch of different Christmas nail art designs uh, scrolling through it. I love that. My clients love that as well. It also functions really nice if you have an Apple TV because you can set up your Netflix to be playing for those clients that want to watch TV. Some clients just do not like to talk. It is like the fact of it, they're either shy, they don't want to socialize. You have to remember that for some people getting their nails done is their time away from like reality, from life, and they just need to like veg out. So in my experience, I did have some clients that didn't particularly like to talk. We would do like the small talk at the beginning, but they loved having the TV on and watching like whatever show they wanted to watch or whatever show I had playing. I've also been playing YouTube music videos of different like country songs or different songs. I think that a TV in the nail studio can function for a lot of different purposes. Or if I'd have the clients in where we would just like talk the entire appointment or I'd have my best friend in or my mom in or something, I just wouldn't even turn the TV on and we would just talk the whole entire time too. So I think that a TV in your nail studio is very versatile, it has many different purposes. I'm not saying like you have to go out and get one, but just I remember there was this thread in a nail group that I was in about like having TVs in your nail studio and some people are just so anti-TV and I think that there's a lot of different purposes for having one in your nail studio. So, okay, let's get back to the tour. I just had to like share my opinions about that. My next little location here is my editing desk. Uh, this desk is just from Ikea. Again, I feel like my nail studio is like ikea all over the place, but it totally is. It's a nice desk because no matter where you put the desk, it looks good. So if I keep it in the middle of the room like this, it looks good with the different panels on the background. But if you were to flip it around, it looks good that way too. And then on top of the desk, I just keep my life planner, which is a kit life planner that I'm using for 2018. Another one of those notebooks that I use for my personal style videos on my second channel. Lately, I've been burning a candle from Bath and Body Works. And the computer that I use for editing is an iMac I don't think it's the Pro. No, it's just an iMac. It's the 27 inch, the largest one I could get because I absolutely needed a big computer for editing. I'm so excited that I have this computer, you guys. It makes editing so much easier. Uh, the mouse pad that I use is just from Amazon and the microphone that I use for voiceover is the Snowball microphone. It is the black one. I wanted the white one except the white one was all sold out. This little tray that I keep under my computer, I just keep my SD cards in it and I'm pretty sure I just got it from Michaels. The floral pillow that I have on this chair is just from Walmart. Then the pink chair again is from HomeSense. The curtains that I have down here, I think were just from Walmart. They're sheer pink curtains. So then we come to the very last part of my nail studio here, which is again, another unit from Ikea. This unit here has followed me for the last three nail studio spaces and its purpose has changed every single time. Initially its purpose was to hold like paper towels and that sort of thing when I was in my previous spaces. I bought the glass doors for it and my intended purpose for this was to put these art wheels that are up top here on the different shelves and have it just kind of display really nicely for the different swatches. I do not like how that looks. I think it takes up way too much room. I don't think it looks very good. It doesn't function very well for me. I actually don't even use these uh, swatch displays anymore. I have the majority of my swatches on rings. And then this board here, which you can see is still on December. <laughs> um, this board here is like a planning board that I got from Michaels. I have yet to see Michaels bring those back. They sold out right away. I've had so many of my clients like want a board like this and so many people comment on my videos asking where to get them I don't know you guys like so I use this board for my videos um, if I have like videos that have priority that need to be posted or need to be filmed I put them on the calendar portion I have a note section here with different request videos from you guys my priorities are all the different nail products that I've either gotten in or all the different videos that I want to get filmed I can adapt this calendar planning board exactly how I need it um, I love it. It functions so well for me. I will 100% be using that in the new studio space. Going back to this unit, right now it doesn't overly have much of a function 
other than the fact that it stores a bunch of products that I have in that need to be reviewed, I'm not sure how I'm going to be using this in the new space. I'm not even sure if I have room for it in the new space. It might not be coming with me in that location. This will give you a sneak peek of products that are going to be filmed soon because I'm trying to check as many filming videos off of my list as I can before I move. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it maybe gave you some tips and tricks as to like how to store different things, how to position your nail studio, uh, different things that have functioned well for me, things that have not functioned very well for me. I do hope that it gave you some ideas. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to show you guys the new nail studio space. I'm constantly thinking of new ideas for that space and I seriously don't know what it's gonna turn out like. I have yet to find the perfect like nail art storage system in my mind. I have a whole bunch of different ideas that are like constantly running through my mind. I think I have a color scheme narrowed down, I think, but that keeps changing. I'm like constantly writing down different systems on like how to organize my desk or how to do my nail art storage differently. I don't know you guys. We'll see what the new space turns out like. I definitely wanted to document this space though because I have absolutely loved working in this space. I love how this space has gone from like a nail a home based nail studio to also like a filming studio for me. It's and I have seriously loved it here. This has been my favorite nail studio space yet. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Like I said, I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.